to enable that org presents mathematical literacy assembly, assembly diagrams floor plans and packaging lesson one memo please remember you first have to do the exercises of les lesson one before you look at this memo otherwise you are just going to waste your time right we are uh, going through the exercises that we did in the previous lesson all right so you have to write an assembly diagram uh, you have to write words to this assembly diagram okay diagram one shows that we need to align the front and the sides and the back of the kennel as shown and screw in do you see that those are screws screw in the front and back panels the screw may or may not be provided with the kennel we cannot know this from the instructions so you either have to buy screws but I think if you have to buy screws they will probably tell you what the size will be and they might be included in the package the second one once we have screwed you see it says drop in floors once we have screw secured the front and the side of the kennels we put in the floor by inserting it from the top do you see you put it in through the roof according to the diagram the floor does not need screws to be held in place and it should simply fit inside so if it doesn't fit inside you have done something incorrectly in the first step third step now we need to attach the roof according to the diagram this requires eight screws to be played in the position indicated on the roof um, and lastly we screw in the top piece of the roof the ridge cap that part with four screws and adjust the feet of the kennel to make it level as shown in the diagram to adjust the feet we can turn the base of each foot like a screw so we either screw it out or we screw it in Okay, now this is the antenna. So one is connect the speaker cable. So these are the speaker cables and we connect it. Two, E, connect the FM antenna. So to the FM antenna. Three, uh, where's three, where's three there? Uh, connect the control cable. Four, connect the com composite video cable to the TV. So there's four, con connect the composite cable to the TV. E, connect the power cables of the system and the TV. Right, so that's the assembly uh, description and the assembly diagram. Okay, now example three. Uh, place your fingernails in the cover, release opening, lift the back cover of the phone up and pull it, pull two, lift it up and pull it back to remove it. Lift out the battery by slipping your finger on the side and lifting one up and out two out of the phone. Three, slide the SIM card into the SIM card socket inside the phone. Make sure that the card's gold contacts face downwards. Four, replace the battery by slipping it back and then pressing down. Okay, so that's the cell phone. Remember, we now first did exercise two before we did exercise three. Two, uh, making a paper glider. Um, okay, so description of what you do. F maybe fold the paper, the two halves together. Fold the top halves together. Fold the top half, the the triangular bit down. Fold the paper again. Okay, so so it depends on what you do. Um, to write down an advantage and disadvantage of your instruction word. Advantage, you don't have to translate the instructions into another language if you don't have the words. Disadvantage is sometimes word can add meaningful explanation to the instruction. So the pictures only can be less easy to understand. So sometimes the colors aren't printed so you can't see that it's folded here and folded around. So for instance, this bit is a little bit difficult to understand. Um, it actually means you only need to fold that triangle over and then you have to flip it over but it's quite difficult to understand right and then do all the paper gliders look the same well it depends on your friends can you think of a better design and then you have to write uh, instructions and it's good to do it with friends because you can make a great paper airplane right and then lastly wiring a plug what color wire must be insert it into the top prong the green and yellow wire um twisted uh, the green and yellow wire must always be inserted into the top what color left Bl remember left blue to the right three right brown what is the main difference between a two and a three prong plug uh, a 
two prong plug only has two wires unlike a three prong plug which has three wires a two prong plug is also not it so it doesn't have this green and yellow one that's the earth uh, and lastly why do you think it's important appliances that aren't wired correctly can short and shock you if you touch them this can be fatal or sometimes if they're wired incorrectly they do not work at all and then you might think you have a faulty appliance so almost be sure that you have um, wired them correctly uh, thank you very much.